Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today I'm showing you how to make a small purse or a makeup bag. It's gonna be super easy, so stay tuned. I'm gonna show you what I used and how I did it. So we need a couple of things for this project today. So as usual, some fabric scissors, some pins, then something to measure with. Here I have my hand gauge then some thread in a matching color to your fabric or anything you like. And then here a zipper. So as far as the length of the zipper goes, you can do pretty much anything you want. Here I have about 16 centimeters of length, which fits perfectly, but you can do more or less if you'd like. Then here I have some bias tape, or you can use a regular um, band of any kind so that we can make a little loop on our baggie. So then of course we need some inside fabric that can be anything you choose and yeah, we can get started. So you maybe already saw the video where I did this little piece of fabric all on my own. So I'm going to show you how we're going to use this for the project today. So we need to measure the sizes because the corners and the sides are a little bit weird. So we're going to measure that way so that our ruler is from end to end covered or covering the fabric. So I have 18 centimeters in width and about 25 centimeters in length. So now basically you want the same size with your inside fabric. So I'm just putting it on top and then I'm going to mark so that I know where to cut out. And of course, as always, we're going to leave a little bit more for the inside fabric. So on each side, about a centimeter more, just so we have enough room for our stitches. So before we do the outside, we're going to do the inside first. So we're going to connect the zipper with the inside fabric. So that way we're going to have a nice edge later and it's going to look really good. So the sewing machine can do this very nicely. You can even do it by hand if you'd like. And I'm starting with the inside and not the outside since here we're just going to fold it in half and basically make it out of that. So we're not going to have an edge there. So it's going to be easier if we do the inside first instead of the outside. So when we do the inside, the zipper goes on top of the fabric the right way around. And then we're going to do a straight stitch here on top. And best case, you're going to do it with the sewing machine and actually do a double stitch. That way everything's going to stay in place. So that way this stitch right here is going to look really good and then we can move on and do the other part of it as well. And then I'm going to show you how to move on. Before we do the other side of the inside fabric, we are going to measure how long we need our inside to be. So we're going to use our outside fabric for that. And as I said, it was about 25 centimeters in length. So now when we calculate the um, part for the stitches in there, the two centimeters or one centimeter on each side, it's about 23 centimeters in length that we need for the inside fabric. So I'm going to do a little bit less fabric there just so it fits nicely and doesn't wrinkle on the inside. And it's going to look really good that way. So we always need a little bit less of the inside. So this is what it looks like now when we have both sides done. So I did a seam stitch on top of the straight stitch and this is what it looks like from the inside out. 
So now what we're gonna do is basically put the outside fabric on top of this. So I'm gonna fold it a little bit inwards like this, the edge, so that it looks nicer this way and it's easier to work with. And then you see here the outside, what it's gonna look like on this side of our little makeup bag. So yeah, I'm just gonna stop where my zipper is. So I'm gonna do it a little bit longer than the zipper. And basically all we have to do is align this nicely and do a regular straight stitch on top here. And then when we do that, we're basically just going to fold like this and do the same thing on the other side. So I have a tip if you're doing zippers, especially if your fabric is a little bit thicker. So there is something that's called a zipper foot and it works wonders when you do zippers. So now that we did this, we can do the side stitches. So we're gonna turn it inside out and we're gonna zip the zipper up. And then we're gonna try to flatten this out. You can even iron over it if your fabric um, can do heat. And then what we wanna do is just do a regular straight stitch on this side here. Just make sure that you catch the end or the edge of the inside fabric. In this case, that's the outside that you don't see, but you want to catch all of the layers in here. So also just make sure there's a little bit of room for the zipper. So that's why we did a little bit more fabric on this end. And then when we do that, we're going to do the other side the exact same way. So in case you want to have a little loop on your back so that you can hang it up, for example, or take it with you, you can just take a regular bias tape, fold it in half and do a stitch along that. Or you can take any other decorative band like this one right here, if you'd like to have it that way. So yeah, I'm going to show you how I did the bias tape. I'm basically putting it to the inside. So that way it's going to be on the outside when we turn it the right way around. And yeah, what we're going to do now is do a stitch there so it's going to stay connected with the sides of the baggie and apart from that it's super easy to do. So you can of course decide how long this is going to be, you can do a longer loop or a shorter one, but let me do the stitches and cut the leftover fabric off. Okay, so now that we did both sides, this is what it looks like inside out. So you can see here, I shortened the leftover bit of fabric, then I unzipped the zipper here. But you can see here um, that it's basically the other way around, so a little bit hard to work with. But yeah, I'm gonna turn it inside out and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So here is my little makeup bag. It can be a purse or a wallet or anything else you want it to be, but I think it's a pretty easy project to do. It's pretty fast as well. Also, I'm gonna show you a little trick. So here on the inside, I actually cut off the corners almost all the way to the stitch itself. And that way I made it a lot better on the outside. So when you turn it inside out, your corner is actually looking like a corner. So yeah, I hope you guys like the way this looks. And you can even do something that has a base or a bottom right here. So here is the baggie right now. So again, the, the wrong way around or inside out. So now I'm going to show you how you can make the bottom here. So we need this triangle shape right here on the corner. And in order for it to stay this way, I'm going to pin it 
to keep it all in place. And then what we want to do is do basically a stitch across from there. So um, when we do that, it's kind of going to have a little base on the bottom that's going to keep it, um, or better said, that's going to make it stay upright when you put it somewhere. So this is what it looks like from the inside out, but you're going to see in a moment what it looks like the right way around. So we're basically making little corners so that this baggie gets a base and doesn't just lay flat when you store it somewhere. So just make sure that it's the same length on both sides so that it's symmetrical. So I have four centimeters here um, on the longest side of the triangle and I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to measure where my four centimeters of length are and then I can do the exact same line there. So then um, we're going to have basically a symmetrical bottom here. So it's going to be a rectangle with both, with all sides equal. So the shorter sides are going to be the same on both ends and everything's going to look good. So now I'm going to do the stitches and then I'll be back. So now you can see our finished baggie. Of course, you can make it without the extra step and then just have it kind of like a little wallet or you can make it like this and then it really looks like a makeup bag. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the project. Feel free to let me know what you think. Feel free to let me know if it was difficult or easy, especially with the last step and uh, making the base of the baggie. And yeah. Other than that, feel free to shoot a thumbs up to let me know you liked it. You can also subscribe to my channel and if you'd like to stay notified every time I post something new, make sure to click on the notification bell. See you next time. Bye!